NCP. Um, as everybody knows, you know, I have ham radio stuff and we're getting into hurricane season, so a lot of storms. I really need to get my lightning protection done. Um, the other lightning arresters came in um, and I found them. <laughs> I didn't know where they were. There's a lot of things here. I don't know where they are. You know, I've unpacked a lot of stuff, you know, after what, nine months? But I don't know where half my stuff is. I don't know. But this is the, uh, the what I've chosen to do. I wanted a metal box for outside. I didn't want these freestanding in the, uh, the uh, just hanging on the, ca the coax. Um, where should I start? Well, here. I, I took a, uh, an air conditioner service box. This is what I wanted. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this little knock out here and run ground wires out of it. And probably some other ground wires just in case. But what I did, is I, well, I drilled holes in the sides, as you saw in the pictures. Um, that's the coax will go in, and then I'll take and put, um, like the corks you can buy, the rubber corks. I'll put those in and slice them so I can keep it out, uh, keep it sealed relatively. Not necessarily water sealed. I mean, this will be out of the rain, but if I open one more freaking box and snakes come out, I'm just going to panic and run around like a little girl and scream. I've, you know, I'm not going to have snakes in mine as best I can. So this should be snake proof and rodent proof and and um, the, the lizards. Uh, I guess they're gnolls, I guess. I don't know, whatever. The, the, the lizards running around. Love to live in this stuff. I'll go out to the sump pump out there and check it or plug in an extra power to it for a tool or something and a lizard will fall out and I'll scream like a little girl. <laughs> it doesn't seem very manly, so I can't do that. So anyway, what I'm doing, what I did is, um, this is open. Is I went ahead and gutted the unit, as you saw in the other pictures over there. And these are what I've got in there right now. They're uh, 400 watts, up to 400 watts. And you could change the gas. Uh, I can't think today. Yeah, you know, a lot of that lately. The uh, gas, um, I don't know. The gas thingies. Can't, can't, I can't think, I'm sorry. Anyway, they're under here. They're, they're user service only. Probably never need it, need it but... I took a, I took a, couldn't find a, um, a bar strap. I went down to Lowe's, nobody looked, so I couldn't find it. So I took a, a, a copper pipe, um, I think it was three quarter inch, and just beat it down with a sledgehammer and made it flat. Uh, flat's always better because it is. I'm not going to go into that right now, but flat is better for a ground strip. So I, I mounted this through it, through the, through the back. They're mounted all the way through. I drilled holes in it so I can mount the box, and I'll be using. Some Capcons to put it in there, and the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna put it through the mortar. Now, I've talked to a lot of people about this put it through the mortar, put it through the brick. It's 50 50. Uh, some say absolutely not through the brick, some say absolutely not through the mortar. It's what it is. So, whatever one of these line up, there's one hole here that goes all the way through, and one hole up here that goes all the way through. Whatever one lines up with the mortar where I want to put this, that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to use one tap gun to hold this to the wall. And, um, you know, I'll run, like, I'll run the, the ground wire from here out the bottom loop there, and I'll put that to my ground stakes. I'll do uh, two, one going this way and one going that way. And I think it's, I'll have to double check, but I think it's eight feet apart. Not to mention the antenna masts are, are uh, put up too. They're, uh, they're going to be grounded. But I'll do that in later videos. Just, I'm having a hard time getting videos out now because there's just so much to do. And, and a lot of that is yard work. It's just, it's like I've done nothing. You know, I'll, I'll do all this yard work. You didn't do anything. You know, it's just next day. So I'm going to go out with the chainsaw and show him who's boss these trees. But anyway, we're going to do it that way. I'm going to ground it. This whole strap is grounded here. The whole box is bonded, electrically bonded. And uh, let's go out and install it. And I'm, I'm not going to do the coax today. Um, that's an LMR 400. I hate to cut that because it's, it's, it's quality coax and I don't know where my uh, my big soldering gun is so I can't do it right. Um, it's hard to solder that, that coax, it's the braid and stuff so I'm going to just wait till I find that and I'll do a video on cutting and doing it. But it's like, I, I've messed up a lot of coax in my life and not only were these hard to get, well not hard to get, you pay for them, but they're hard to, uh, to cut because they're, they're solid instead of the uh, stranded core because I don't know, I'm an idiot I guess but running it under the house and and you know basically you know wiring it was 
it was hard because there's a lot of fishing with uh, fish tape and <laughs> I don't want to screw it up I don't want to screw it but I'll put that in later and I don't have the heat gun to, to go ahead and put the connectors on I've got some screw on connectors but I'm not going to use those uh, LMR 400 is really thick but I don't want to I don't screw it up so I'll do that another day but I'm going to get this up where I want it I'm going to put it by the cable entrance out there and it's running through a grate so I got my my coax running through that grate already and coming up to the floor in here and everything so let me just go ahead and install this and um, I'm not going to put the ground wires in today I'm just going to basically bolt this to the wall the, the point of this video was the construction of it and, and my choice on how I did it there's some good and there's some bad and I, I know what you know all that stuff is but feel free to comment below like I said I'm just going to drill a hole um, with a tap gun bit not the one I have in there now but I'll drill that in and then I'll, we'll put the tap guns in there and oh yeah I'm going to put it in the mortar versus the brick because if I if I fracture the brick that's going to be a whole lot harder to cover I'll put it on the joint of the mortar where it's where it's coming in a brick at least three ways it'll be the top way and left and right not bottom but left and right because they're staggered if that were a fracture the mortar is harder than brick from my understanding and it will be a lot a lot easier to patch the, a hole in the mortar or a little crack in the mortar than it is to crack or uh, repair a fractured brick so the brick would have to be pulled out and chiseled out I don't do that plus there's a lot of whole holes around this house where people I don't know for some reason there's nails and they're stuck in there pretty good there's a nail outside that's in through the, the mortar so it held pretty well so I don't know but this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put it through the mortar and it might be right it might be wrong I, I've, I've consulted several people several structural engineers at work and they're all they're both 50 50 one says never put it through mortar one says never put it through brick so if I screw up Screw up, the mortar's going to be easier to fix. So, there we go. Alright, let me get out there and get to this. And I'll edit this all together. And I'll, I'll put the, well actually right now, I'll put the construction pictures in here of me making this right here. Okay, now let's go out and get it done. I'll be back. It looks like they put it in. Can you get the from the, through the uh, mortar here. So, that's what we're going to do with the mortar. So, that gives me an easy line to set things up here. All right, let me get to this here. Set this up. All right, I'm gonna put it right here on that joint there, and that'll line up, or maybe that one. Let's see. There. Yeah, I guess the bottom one here. I'll put it in this joint here and let it go in right there. So then we we'll have three ways to go. So just like that. Let's hope I don't screw this up, huh? Really should have the hammer drill for this. Okay. 
That is really tiring. <laughs> Let me, uh, maybe I'll get the hammer drill. Nah, you screw it. Yeah, I'm gonna get the hammer drill. I'll be back. You know, I really got to get a handyman permit. They're really cheap in the city, and that'll let you pull other permits for doing work and, uh, as far as I know, and other stuff. Now, now this lead it. Right into a water pipe. Just kidding. Well, I hope not. <laughs> Okay, so we got one tap gun here. I drilled it as deep as the tap gun, which is just a little bit neat, more than we need to go. So, ow! Wow, that drill bit is hot. Who would have thought, right? Oh well. Stupid is, stupid does. My poor finger. All right. So we're gonna put this through the top here. I might need to drill that out just a little bit more. Hold on. Make it a little bit bigger for the tap gun. Tap gun doesn't really want to fit in there, so we're gonna do that. So I'll be right back. Alright. Let's go ahead and put it back on. I've decided to add the second bottom one for stability here. Just because it's the right way and it'll bother me if I don't. So, make sure it's in there. So, the tap gun, I re drilled it off camera. Oops. Sturdy! There we go. Now we're all good. Well, like I said, I'll lock this out here. And run a ground rod that way and a ground rod that way. And uh, we're all connected. <sighs> That's good. All right. That's the video for today. And, uh, you know, as I get older, it's harder to get up off the ground anymore. <laughs> so instead of grunting and groaning and me getting up, I'm just going to end the video there. And hope everybody has a good day. But that's sealed. Audio. Okay. Um, I'll seal up these here with the uh, corks that I'm going to drill out and slice up for the coax. Or maybe I'll just wrap tape around the coax so it just fits enough in there. be a tight seal. I don't want to use silicon, although that would probably be the best option. But when there's still a lighting storm, I still want to be able to just to go out here and manually unplug it and move the, move the coax out of here. At least on this side, because this will be the, uh, the antenna side. And this will be the coax into the house side. Alright everybody, have a great day. It's NCP out.